Hi guys, it's Cindy. And I just want to pray for you today. You know, a lot of us hide who we really are in the Lord. I see all your posts on Facebook. I get your emails and your phone calls. And some of you reach out to me and we have dinner and you tell me your stories. I really do lift you up to the Lord. But I just sometimes, as you, don't really know what to pray. But I do know how to pray. And so I'm going to pray for you today. And I just hope that this washes over you like washing you with the water of the word. That in my prayer, the Holy Spirit will saturate you with himself and miracles will come. He will release what you need in your life, whether that be relationship or finances or supernatural divine healing and health. You know, God has not forgotten you. And so I'm going to pray for you in the Holy Spirit. Some call it tongues, some call it praying in the Spirit. But I can promise you there's power in the voice of Holy Spirit for you today. The spirit groans and utters with prayers that cannot be heard, cannot be understood. It's the groaning of the Holy Spirit in us. He hears you even when you're laying in bed quiet. When you feel like no one's listening, he hears your prayers. And the Holy Spirit will rise up within you. Feel the love of God today. Feel the love of God. Let him wash you away. Just close your eyes with me right now. Just stop whatever you're doing and just close your eyes with me right now. Cast all your care upon the Lord. Just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Take two minutes, just two minutes, and allow the Lord to wash you. Now, as you sit before the Lord, <clears throat> try to remember not to focus on me or your troubles or your grocery list, but just focus on how much Jesus loves you. For Jesus loves you, this I know. For the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves you. The Bible tells you so. Be blessed.